Hi everybody. I've been really inspired lately and I have several topics that I want to discuss pertaining to my work and specifically what I offer as well as pertaining to this kind of work in general. I'm probably going to be making several videos so this is just the first one and I'm going to be talking about some topics that are a little bit controversial and the first thing that I want to talk about that may be a little bit controversial is that a lot of people get addicted to readings. A lot of people get addicted to psychics, to tarot readings, and to astrologers. People also get addicted to spiritual work. They get addicted to root work and spell casting, etc. I want to let you know that I am not here to perpetuate an addictive cycle. I will do everything in my power to break an addictive cycle. I am not here to cause you to be dependent upon me. I'm here to empower you and to help you. And the way, one of the ways that I can empower you through my readings is by helping you to see things from a different perspective, helping you to tune into your own guidance, encouraging you to acknowledge and look at the signs that you're receiving for yourself in your life, encouraging you to really examine your own intuition and your own feelings surrounding events. And I think that it's really helpful to get an outside perspective sometimes in order to do that. So it's important to differentiate between, it's important to make note that getting an outside perspective on things is something that everyone needs. It's always useful, especially at particular transitions, particular crossroads, to get an outside perspective from someone who's not involved in your life and from someone who has a belief system or an approach or a philosophy or a spiritual philosophy that you agree with and that you know is going to be helpful for you. And that's useful for everybody. So I'm by no means saying that, you know, that it's something that you shouldn't do. I'm just saying it's something that I don't want you to become dependent upon. I would rather empower you. Um, another way that I empower you through my readings is by helping you to identify those obstacles and roadblocks that are holding you back from from whatever it is. Some people feel that they're being blocked from making the correct choices or from making important decisions in their lives. Some people are holding themselves back from taking action to change their lives. Um, some people are holding on to blockages which present them from really being in tune with their own intuition or their own psychic abilities. Um, so those are the kind of obstacles and blockages that I can help you define and then get you in tune, like I said, with your own intuition, with your own gifts, with your own guidance. I used to work for a very prominent um, psychic company that I am not allowed to mention and it was a really prosperous job and it gave me a lot of perks and it was really enjoyable. But I had to break free from that job because I didn't have the ability or the influence there to assist clients from really breaking free from cycles and habits that held them back. For instance, there are a lot of people who were really held, um, really hung up on exes. They were hung up on their ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or things, their ex, their, their old relationships, and. Some people would call every day to talk about the same person. They would ask the same questions about the same person and the same relationship. And sometimes this was like a year or two after that relationship ended. And in the position that I was working for somebody else, I didn't have the power to really do what was best for that person and say, you've got to leave this behind you once and for all. Like, let's find a way to leave this behind you. I could say that, but I couldn't prevent them from calling me the next day to ask me the same thing over and over again. So I don't work for that company anymore. I don't work for anyone anymore. And part of the, except myself and you. So part of the beauty of me having control over what I do is that I have the ability to truly do what I feel 
is in the highest good for you and for me. I'm interested in all of our spiritual evolution and I'm going to do things in a way that I see ethically fit, in a way that fits with my spiritual philosophies and the systems that I've worked out for myself. I'm going to be as in tune with spiritual guidance as I can possibly be and I'm gonna follow that guidance that I received to do what I feel is best for you. And if that means that I tell you, you don't need any more readings or you don't need to talk about this relationship anymore, you need to find a way to move free from this relationship and let me, let me help you do that, then that's what I'll do. So my readings come from a spiritual perspective. And the reason that I talk about my readings coming from a spiritual perspective is because I offer you guidance which empowers you to tune in with your own center and for you to learn to attain your own guidance within. Some of the other things that characterize readings come, coming from a spiritual perspective is that this is not about fortune telling, this is not necessarily about predicting the future, this is not about um, this is not about those cheap, gimmicky kinds of things. This is about really tuning into spiritual guidance, channeling for you, and looking at the patterns of your life, looking at the events in your life, and seeing them from a spiritual perspective, seeing what you are being guided to learn, seeing what you are being guided to overcome, seeing how you can move around your obstacles, or move through your pain and seeing how that is leading you towards further growth. Another thing is recognizing that no matter where you are on your path right now or in your life, no matter what kinds of challenges are happening, no matter how confusing or crazy it seems or how much pain you're in, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. There are no wrong turns we're divinely guided, you're exactly where you're supposed to be at exactly this moment. We all feel like we're off track sometimes, that's just because we're human and we can't see the bigger picture. Um, none of us are so in tune that you know we can sit in the face of tragedy or pain and know and just you know tell ourselves, oh, we're on the right path, so it's fine. None of us are, you know, are impervious to those kinds of things but in a reading when you reach out for help I can assist you with seeing how you are on the right path how this is going to lead you to better things how it's going to help you grow I can also assist you with seeing things from a different perspective so that you can understand that you have different choices um, so that you can decide for yourself, you know, do I like the road that I'm on or should I choose another road? Now, another thing about all of this is that when you're seeing this kind of life cycle from a spiritual perspective, then you recognize that fate and destiny are not set in stone. We do have certain challenges or certain lessons that we have agreed to learn and we're going to learn them one way or another. So there's still no wrong turn. You can, regardless of the decisions that you make, you're going to learn your specific lessons and your specific challenges. And if you don't learn them the first time or the second time or the third time, they're gonna keep coming up. And those are also some of the patterns that I can see and some of the things that I can assist you with through a reading. Now, the other thing about that is there are easier ways to learn your lessons. There are easier ways to face challenges. There, there are, so we can make decisions which may lead us to an easier way to learn our lesson, right? Or an easier way to face a challenge. So that's another little aspect of that. But what I really aim to do is help you to level up. And I will help you identify and address the habits and patterns and cycles within you that hold you back because very, very many times blockages and obstacles, they're within us, not outside of us, right? Um, breaking free from those cycles and habits and belief patterns is the first step to offering you greater spiritual connection. And when you recognize your own ability to connect to spiritual guidance, 
then you have a clear path towards stronger spiritual evolution. And what is spiritual evolution? Spiritual evolution is, there are so many different ways to look at it. I'm a universalist, so um, I can see it from 50 different ways because I honor all traditions, but spiritual ev evolution means the progression of the soul. So in some traditions that would mean um, you know, working off our, our, our karma or building up our karma so that we can evolve to higher states of being. Um, I tend to believe that this is about evolving spiritually, becoming... I, I believe that humans have the ability to evolve to be more than we are, right? Um, in the next lifetime on another planet, whatever. But. To me, spiritual evolution is about learning the lessons of our soul, um, learning as much as we need to, becoming better people so that our soul can advance to the next stage, whatever that next stage may be. And I do see us right now, humans in this culture on this earth, on this earth, not just in this culture, being in a stage where we're all growing through a lot of spiritual evolution, and that's what all these challenges are about. Um, so I think that we have a really unique opportunity right now to evolve even more. We're being given the chance to evaluate our patterns, evaluate our habits and behaviors, and choose to see things from a new perspective, choose growth, and choose to evolve. My whole point is I want to help you with spiritual evolution. I want to help myself with spiritual evolution. I want to help you with spiritual evolution. I want to help humanity with spiritual evolution. That's what I'm here to do. That is my my core principle, my core goal. That is the what is behind all of my work and that is definitely what is behind my readings. So I'm not going to be perpetuating any kind of negative cycles of dependency or um, addiction in my readings or in any of my work, I'm going to be working to empower you. Okay, so I think that that is good for this video. I think I covered everything that I wanna cover about my readings for now. And I'm happy to answer any questions just for a few moments. And the reason I'm only allowing a few moments is because I'm going to jump back in and do a couple of more live videos after this. I have a few topics that I would like to cover. Hi everybody, thank you for joining. I've been seeing that you've been joining. I've just been, been very focused on what I was talking about. Does anyone have any questions before I jump off? I'm gonna be back on doing some more live videos this evening. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some more videos, so stay tuned, stay blessed.